welcome back friends from this video i shall begin to show you the downloads download mean the digital products so this is the download section you will click over it and all it is dashboard is showing before you downloads downloads title and through this button add new download you will click over it and you will upload you will upload are add the new digital products because you can also sell the digital products of this theme so i write here the title and you will select the bundle you will select from this bundle only the digital products these are the products i open in a new tab show you show you this is the different kinds of products these are showing here like this one microsoft office is a digital product so this digital product is in this bundle so if i select this one microsoft office professional 2016 download and one thing i would like to tell you that you will only select the digital not the physical because i am selecting the digital this is the physical product therefore select a variation no variation is showing here so if i click over it you will see that no variation is showing here because dell inspiration 15 laptop is the physical product so you will i have to select only the digital products because you are coming from the download section therefore variations will not be shown here the physical product variation will not be shown here but if i select this microsoft office processor and i choose a file for it so this office file has been chosen and i click over insert download this new download has been inserted successfully I mean new digital product has been inserted successfully so this is that product microsoft office professional 2016 download and you can edit these digital products and delete them this is the other download adobe photoshop cc 2018 for linux linux os and it it has the variation it is digital products but it is a variable products and it has different variations and it is variation id is 491 so i show you this product here in this product section this one adobe photoshop cc 2018 12 month subscription download and it is a variable product and if i click over view so you will see that this is it is operating system because it is a variable product windows max linux os and other ones and product quantity so if i click over edit over it you will see that this is the product attributes which is the operating system windows mac os linux and this these are the product variations it has three variations linux windows and mac if i open the first one which is linux and i have chosen the digital product and you will also select the digital not the physical downloadable product and now i open the second one you will see the digital product downloadable product and open the third one the same digital product i come back here and i edit now this one so you can select a variation now you are watching the these three different variations are showing here because this per uh, product has been selected here i would like to show you these variations here too these are the three products and this is the first variation which is number is 491 so you can edit these variations also which is which has been assigned for linux here 491 and you will see that it is have been signed for linux os and the other two variations also are showing and you can select other two also for editing them now i come back here and it is the mac and if i click over this one so this it is variation is the mac and you will see it is variation number is 488 488 i would like to show you this number here also i close it and this is the second one and this is it is variation number 488 which has been assi assigned to mac mac os 
now I go back and now I edit this third one because this is a variable product and I show you it is variations this is it is title download Photoshop CC 18 and this variation is 489 and I will show you it is variation also this is the third one and this one is variation 489 so in this way you can assign the different variations and you can edit them to a single product you can assign the different variation and different images so now if I click off over add new product you will select a bundle to like this one this product has been added and you can assign these variations for giving this variable product to this bundle now I think you will have understood I have come back to download and you can add this new add new downloadable through here you can edit it and you can delete any downloadable product a digital product. I have deleted this one because I have already shown you to edit and uh, adding new download now I have deleted one and now I close this one also because I think you will have understood now I go to order section this is the order section where all your vendors orders are showing that uh, how many persons have given you have given this vendors for orders for buying new his items 16 total pending seven seven orders and pending <clears throat> mean admin is still to approve these seven orders main admin on hold zero and processing two to processing completed seven these seven orders are, are completed cancelled zero and refunded also zero all these are cancelled now all and now I show you the actions button so view and edit you can view any order from it and you can edit that order this is the order number you are viewing complete details of this order number was placed on this date June 22 2018 and time and is pending currently pending payment for the admin this is the order details you will see the details. this is the product title which has been bought by this by a customer and it is this is the product details and is priced at $202,000 sorry and order actions current status is pending payment you will see this is the current status and you can change it is status by updating it if you update it your order status has been updated now it is the completed but you can uh, change this functionality by the main admin too there whether you want to give this 30 to vendor or not so this is the order notes you can also assign the different notes to different order for just to remember for just your memory because in this way when vendor can remind that what order is relating to what customer or product so I show you by adding new notes order notes I copy this text because I have already written it and I paste it and insert notes. So this note has been added to or related to this order. This is the new one. You can also delete these notes. If I click over this delete note, then it will be deleted. Your order note has been deleted successfully. So I OK. Now you will see that only the first note is showing the other note has been deleted. So in this way you can add a note and you can delete that note. This new section has been made also in these updates. This is the complete order sections which has been told you which has different values. So this order section has been completed. once again if I go to view edit you can view it you can edit it now I go to coupon sections 
you can assign a coupon to different uh, products and different bundles this is a coupon section complete coupon title this one second one is coupon product third one is coupon price coupon code limit coupon limit and how many use coupons are zero zero at this time and in action there will be a and delete edit and delete two buttons you can edit any coupon and you can add new coupon by clicking over it for example i add a new coupon cook will write here the coupon title i add a coupon to this product benton white polo shirt coupon assign it a price 100 it i think it is actual price is 120 dollar i would like to show you it is actual price this one its price actual price is 120 dollar but i have assigned it the price 100 dollar to this coupon through this coupon write a coupon code coupon limit 2 and i insert insert coupon now a new coupon has been inserted and you will see that this coupon has been inserted this is a product number and price and you can edit it also if i edit it and i change its price to 80 dollar remaining thing will remain same i change it is uh, limit to one and i click over update coupon now you will see that its price has been changed to 80 and limit has been decreased to one so you can also delete any coupon through here through this section if i click over delete one coupon has been deleted successfully now you will see that it has been deleted so this is the complete coupon section for vendors now i go to reviews this is the review section for vendors vendors will watch all his products are bundle reviews total all five and pending zero click over pending zero approve five five reviews have been approved you can approve and disapprove and spam zero so if i go back to all and if i click over action so you will see unapprove the vendor can unapprove any review so your review has been unapproved successfully and move to pending so now it is in the pending status you can also send this coupon to spam so this uh, review has been sent to pending i go back and now i shall send the next review in spam i click over spam your review has been moved to spam successfully now it is inside the spam i mean this has the one vendor functionality to uh, send any review to pending or spam you can also approve it approve any pending or spam review if i once again click over here and i delete so you can also delete any review but i will approve it first because first i unapprove someone i click over pending and now i approve it so now you will see that once again it has been approved successfully now it is inside the approved pending is once again zero i think now you will have understood this view review section completely now i go to payment section this is the vendor payment dashboard payments which is showing the complete charts of payments payments report current balance this is the current balance and this is the pending clearance which is still pending for the main admin this is the withdrawal amount 58 dollar earned this month and minimum withdrawal amount is ten dollar vendor can minimum withdraw ten dollar you can change this limit also withdraw threshold two days you can also change this three uh, two days threshold so this is the payment charts payment number order invoice commission and these are the order invoices if i open it in new tab so this is the invoice order so i come back here commission amount which the vendor has got this is the commission amount and this is the shipping amount total amount and status status means first is commission pending then commission cleared cleared and cleared so this is the withdraw threshold two days commission pending clear after two days this commission will be also clear also clear 
and I, as I have said that you can change this withdraw threshold. So if I click on withdraw to PayPal account, you can and vendor can withdraw his money through his PayPal email. So your commission will be sent to following PayPal account email. This email is in the setting section. Whatever the email vendor will give here, he will be able to withdraw his money through that email and he will write his the amount here minimum $10. If I write the $60, and I click over withdraw. Now this $60 uh, has been withdrawn. Congrats, your money has been sent to your PayPal account. At this stage, I have attached just the sandbox PayPal account. Therefore, this money has been gone to my sandbox PayPal account. And I would also like to show you that where this money has gone. So I open this PayPal account, which is the sheet 23 at yahoo.com. So I copy this email address, this email address, copy it and I open this my PayPal. This you will see that sandbox.paypal.com. So you will also your own PayPal account. I am showing you just for an example. This is our sheet 23 and first I paste that because I copied there. Now I write here my e password. So I click over login. and my sandbox PayPal account will be open within a few seconds. And I show you this at the top. This is the payment from South Amber test store. This is a $60 USD. So this $60. Gross amount $60 which has been received here. You have PayPal account from computerfever.com. Now I close this and I come back to this uh, payments dashboard, vendors payment dashboard. Now this section has been completed. I think you will have understood it rightly. As I said, you can withdraw this amount through this email, through your given PayPal email, write the amount and withdraw the money. Now I go to setting section. This is a setting section. If you want to go back, you can click over back to dashboard and you will be back to dashboard. I once again click over settings. First, I show you the store settings, the vendor store settings. This is a vendor image. You can change this image and store setting. First, the cover banner image. This is the blue cover banner profile image, store name and store country, store address one, two. This is the country. You can change country address one. You can give any address, address 2, which is optional, state, country. You will write here your state, province, and you will write here the postcode, zip code of your city or province, PayPal email. This email will be written here for receiving the amount. I would like to show you this email once again, which is the sheet 23, I think, at gmail.com. This vendor has given. So this is the payments. I open it in new tab because I would like to show you for removing any confusion. So this is the email which will be given in settings for receiving the payment. This one, PayPal email. Through this email, the vendor will receive the money. So this is the setting section. And a phone number, you will give your phone number and store email. You will check this email or uncheck. I would like to show you all this vendor section in real preview also on the website. So I go back to my website and I click over shop and I open any product which is relating to Saad Ahmed. So I, this product is relating to Saad Ahmed. And this name, this is the vendor name by Saad Ahmed. So I click over it, this name. You can also change this image. So I click over Saad Ahmed and his profile will be store page will be open. So it is the vendor store, Saad Ahmed. Profile image is showing, awesome text store name is showing. This is the store name. And this 
is the cover banner image, this blue color image, which is showing at the top here. You will see that this top image is the cover banner image. And this is the profile image, which is showing there. This one. So vendor can change his profile image and country and address and address two is optional state country state country or province so city town you will write here and you will write the zip code everything is showing here showing here you can see that everything is showing here phone number email address and all these things this is the phone number and sorry for it you can uncheck this email also this is the phone number if i uncheck this store email show email address in store or not now i have unchecked it and now it will not be shown there your store image has been successfully updated now you will see that if i refresh this page this email address will be disappeared from here now it will not be shown here now you can see that no email address is showing here and if i check it again once again it will begin to show now it is unchecked and if i check it again and insert it, store settings has been successfully updated now i reload and once again it will begin to show the email address so once again you are watching this email address is showing here so friend this is the settings the first section store settings now in next video i shall come back and tell you about the shipping settings shipping zone shipping types everything so i see you in next video